Hey guys, my name's Stu, and this is part five of Rocky Falls, a scenario where we have to build 10 different coasters with a minimum excitement value of six, no length requirements. So we're using this as a tutorial series focusing on cheap and cheerful coasters. So each one I'm doing like a kind of a theme with it. And so this one near the hyper coaster doesn't need to be tall to have good stats. The second one then, vertical drop coaster, we're using a coaster as a transport rides even though guests don't use them as transport rides they don't think oh, i need to get up there or i need to get outside of the park so i'm going to jump on this this train or this coaster or this cable car whatever they are to get there they just they see it as a ride and whatever they get on and wherever they get off it doesn't matter part three then we did a mobius coaster cheap and cheerful giga coaster with great stats and then part four then we did this flying coaster now this is actually a pair of coasters it's two different coasters they're the same same design mirror image of each other um i had this idea for like a a lookout point underneath um and uh yeah so the game won't recognize this as an additional coaster so it won't count to the 10 because they need to be unique but the fact that they're mirrored and next to each other means that you can have the synchronization on and get a nice boost from that so part five then now i have been asking for names for roller coasters um alcazar and citadel both suggestions um i do have a couple that i've written down and i'm planning to use in the future there's a mine train coaster that i've i've got a name for um i am going to go with single names so if you've suggested something with two names i might change it slightly just to the single name um so number five then now this map is probably a good example of this is that sometimes you do run short of space um so part five then is basically about cramming coasters into into a short space or a small space so i'm thinking this little area here because what else can we use it for and it does seem to be a lot of litter cropping up and before we get into the coaster building i think what we should do is we should check the profits and there, there you go the first coaster yeah they're not paying that much so we're going to drop it down from 10 to 5 we could probably do 7 and then 6 but let's just drop it down to 5 that way we haven't got a revisit it anytime soon um we're making tons of cash every month i mean i don't suppose any of these coasters cost that much to build so let's crack on then i think for this one this now the inverted impulse coaster you can cram them into small spaces but normally you'd go up but in this case since we've got so much space down why don't we try and do it so that we we build down so let's do a nice i don't know a nice long station just for nowsies and we're gonna there you go perfect perfect little spot there so go down um i did do a little roof over that um off camera for the for the thumbnail of the last video so just in case you've seen it and thinking i don't remember seeing that um you're not going mad um anyway so let's let's try and let's build off the back no just complain about the amount of litter in your park probably that spot so let's drop a handyman down so we've got load zoned we'll drop another one down there we can check in here thoughts click on there run out of cash don't worry don't care about you if you run out of cash either get some out or leave um litter here is really bad let's click on there where are they oh we can we've whilst we've got this bit open we can click on the globe, top right hand corner. No. There you go. Where's it flashing? Here. Do 
Let's chuck another one down there. Do you know what? We might even put a little bin down there as well. Anyway, let's get back to the building. Um, so let's, from the back then, we want to Okay, we need to flatten this out. Will it let me do that? No. This one's glowing yellow, so I think it wants me to. No. Let's lower it slightly. Will it let me do it now? Yes, it will. Okay, can we tidy this one up a bit? We can't change it. Ah. Maybe we can do that. And then that, just to make it look a bit different, um, maybe. I don't know, stick a bush on it or something. There you go. Um, so from here then, we might need to start a little bit higher. We'll start the twist. Because if we don't do the twist, we can only bend it away from the station. So we'll need to do the twist in order to bring it back towards the station. That's a minus 10. Can we go lower? Minus 20. Let's try that. Now we need to do the twist on this side as well. And they link up. Cool. Let's do entrance there. We can do the exit at the back. Uh, just there and then we will run it on test there you go now we can adjust the speed as well we could ram the speed right up and honestly it shouldn't really give us too many problems we've already got over the six the only thing is it'll give you the max positive vertical g's and max negative vertical g's in the red but that won't cause us any problems because that doesn't really them being in the red isn't going to make a guest think oh, i'm not going on that we'll just let it cycle through um what can we do with the station if we I think if we drop that there because we've got an inverted train it's sort of dangling below so we need to drop it i want to bring this path under there let's raise that up okay there you go so we got the stats back there you go so i guess i'll still ride that but i don't want to have it that fast we don't need to have it that fast no so for this one i'm going to call it Sticking with a single word name, Scarab, like the beetle, because it's tunneling. We'll ram the price up to 10. How much did that cost to build? 3,300. There you go. Right, before we do that, let's... Get it nice and sort of neat. Now we want that. Drop that down slightly. Bring the one you can't see from that angle. Bring the one up like that. No, that's the wrong one. That. No, that's. There we go. Cool.
bring that down like that like that i don't think that's going to be long enough no it's not low enough So this can be brought back up. How about I go underground and then I want to bring it up there. So we've got the highlighted tile. So we know which one to drop it. We'll drop it down two on the corner, one, two, and then on the other corner, there you go. We only need to drop it down once and then this one once and then it brings it up like that. And then We'll do that. That's long enough. Um, just checking what I'm using for all the other exits. I'm using that tile there. And I think I'm using the jungle no entry sign or jungle sign like that. Press this no entry to make it a no entry sign. Um, usually you don't need to do that. You don't need to make it a no entry sign. I tend to do it because. Sometimes you do, and it just saves you having to think about it. And the cases when you do need to do it is when, um, like in this instance, it's facing the same way, uh, it's facing the same direction as the exit. Um, or maybe a, a more exciting ride or something in the future, the guests will try and pathfind too. Um, what about this, these jungle? I haven't, I don't think I've used any of these because I don't really like the way they look. No, I won't use them. Why aren't I going to use them? I just said I don't like the way they look. Um, I'll do that and that, and we can do that, that. I'll do that there, and then I'm going to want to do same thing as I've done on similar. There you go. We're going to use this. No. What's happened there? what we could do is we could have it one lower like that we'll delete that delete that delete that that's annoying we'll drop this down drop that down as well so it should allow me to do the supports yes we're, we're leaving a gap cool and now we can We'll raise this bit up. There you go. And that bit. And that bit as well. Why not? Okay, cool. Um, but I think we are going to need to put some fences just there. Not because the guests will fall off in the game, but just looks a bit safer. Well, I'm not one of these people that 
tries for realism, but I think if you were to build a coaster like this with a perilous plunge, you would build some sort of barrier to stop them falling off. I mean, after all, some of them still have money to spend. If they want to die, they can do so off property, I think. Yeah. Now, how about we change that to what about this? That way, it's it's kind of like a roof, but it also hmm, do I like that? No, I don't like that. I wanted to build something that, that they could see through. There's nothing there. Oh, hang on. Mm, I don't like it, but we'll see how it looks. Tell you what we could do. We could open this and get some cash whilst we're building. Leaving a little gap there. Oh, that was perfect size. And we'll bring it round like that. Wait a second. Yeah, I knew it. I've been bamboozled by the isometric. But yeah, so isometric view was bamboozled me. There you go, there. And there. Um, let's change this to log cabin. Is that too much? It possibly is. At this stage, it's possibly too much. But we aren't finished yet. We could let's change it to that.
Okay, I think we've saved it. Nope, nope. There you go, that looks better. Right. Um Way around, let's try it that way. No, still don't like it. Just needs one little thing. How about that? Okay, does it need a little bit of roof shenanigans? Something just to make the roof sort of stand out, make it look a little bit. Hmm. Oh, I, don't, I think it's fine. I think it's hmm, over from this angle. Does look a little bland from this angle. What if we do this, do that? something i don't totally hate it i'm not i don't think it looks amazing but it's you know it's it's something i think this does need slight difference something slightly different to make it pop what about that because beetles do tend to have like a weird sort of like almost sort of was it like metallic kind of colorings sometimes What about that? And the final stats are 6.5 core. We've done five coasters now. And so the way I look at it is um, so we've got a space in the middle. We could do two coasters in the middle or one large coaster. We've got a space over here. We could do two coasters. And that's not to mention. That would take us up to nine, not to mention the all the space down here. Now, that mine course that I said I could build, that could easily just be something simple that goes around the outside of the park, you know? Um, yeah, I think well, that's not bad. I mean, the goal was something simple. That's the goal all along for the, the series and something compact and small for this little space that would otherwise be unused yeah so i like it we're on number five then oh, so next one will be number six what am i going to build what am i going to call it you can help by leaving a suggested name in the comments um hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye